Hello students. The topic for the day is animals and their young ones. I am Sakshi Mathur, your science teacher. So let's start the chapter animals and their young ones. In this chapter, we will be discussing about the egg-laying animals. Under the topic egg-laying animals, we will be discussing about amphibians, reptiles and insects. We will also discuss about the life cycle of a frog, snake, cockroach and butterfly. So let's start egg-laying animals. Amphibians. What are amphibians? Animals that live both on land and in water are called amphibians. Examples of amphibians are frog. They lay cluster of eggs in water covered with a jelly-like substance. So frog is an amphibian which lay cluster of eggs in water and frog live on both land and in water. Let's now move to the life cycle of a frog. Life cycle of frog. Frog lays eggs in water. You can see that the frogs of eggs are laid in cluster and they are covered with a jelly like substance. The eggs of a frog hatch into tadpoles. Tadpoles look like a small fish and has tail. It breathes with gills. You can see in the picture a tadpole has a tail and it looks like a fish and initially at this stage they breathe with gills. After some time the tadpole loses its tail and develops legs. They also lose gills and develop lungs. Tadpole becomes froglets and then gradually becomes frog. So this is the life cycle of frog when the eggs convert into tadpoles, the tadpoles convert into froglet and the froglets convert into an adult frog. Metamorphosis The changes in an in organism from larval stage to an adult stage is called as metamorphosis. Metamorphosis occurs in a frog. How? Because it changes from a larval stage that is the tadpole. The larval stage that is tadpole, it is converting into an adult frog. From tadpole, the frog is converted in gradually and slowly into a adult frog. This process is called as metamorphosis. Reptiles. Reptiles like snakes, lizards, turtles and crocodiles are the examples of reptiles. They lay eggs in a safe place on ground. Their eggs are protected by a thick and leathery shell. Reptiles don't take care of the eggs. The eggs are warmed by the heat of the sun. So, the reptiles lay eggs on the ground on a safe place and their eggs are protected by a thick and leathery covering. The reptiles do not take care of their eggs. The eggs are only warmed by the heat of the sun. You can see the picture above a snake with eggs and the turtle with the eggs. A snake lays 10 to 
15 eggs. These eggs hatch into snakelets. Snakelets are the small babies of the snake. The young snake feed on small animals and take 2 to 4 years to become an adult snake. While becoming the adult snake, the process of molting also occurs. That is the process of shedding old skin. While the young snake become adult snake, it loses or shreds its skin many times and develops a new skin. This process is called as molting. Insects In insects, we will be discussing about cockroaches and butterflies. Insects also lays eggs. So let's discuss about cockroach and butterfly. Life cycle of cockroach. Three stage life cycle. The cockroach life cycle is of three stage. Female cockroach lays eggs in a dark and safe place. The baby cockroach is called as the nymph. Nymph changes into adult cockroach. So very simple. Three stage life cycle. Egg to nymph and then the adult cockroach. Now this is a three stage life cycle of a cockroach. We need to know some points about the baby cockroach that is called as the nymph. Nymph. It is a baby cockroach. It does not have wings. Looks similar to the adult cockroach. While growing, it sheds old skin and grows a new one several times. This process is called as molting. We have studied this in the life cycle of a snake also. So these are the some points about nymph. Nymph is the larval stage of cockroach. Life cycle of butterfly. The butterfly life cycle is of four stages. Female butterfly lays eggs on the upper part of the leaf. Eggs break the larvae comes out. When the eggs break, the larvae which looks like worms comes out. The larva of butterfly is called as the caterpillar. It eats the leaves and grows very rapidly. This is called as the eating stage. The caterpillar which looks like a worm, you can see in the picture, eats the leaves and grows very rapidly. After some time, it stops eating and forms a covering called cocoon around itself. This state is called pupa. This is the resting stage. Now what happens? The caterpillar covers itself with a covering called as the cocoon and rest inside the cocoon. This is called as the pupa. Inside the cocoon, the caterpillar changes into a beautiful butterfly. So this is the life cycle of a butterfly. From egg to a beautiful butterfly, it grows through four stages. That is the egg to caterpillar then to pupa and then into a beautiful adult butterfly. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day.